Today we're going to do a different type of text tutorial on top of someone's face. And in this case, I've done John Lennon and on the right side of his face, it's uncovered and I've done some work to it to kind of give it a shadowy look. And on the left side, I've put one of his most famous quotes, it's song lyrics that says, you may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. So we're going to go through this together. The first thing you want to do is find a picture of somebody. I found this picture of John Lennon. And you want to make sure that they are looking straight on at the camera because if they're turned sideways, it's not going to work well. Okay, so then you are going to select the background as good as you can. Increase my brush size. Also, you want to make sure that you get a picture of somebody with somewhat of a solid background just so it's easier to take the background off. Um, so after you've selected the background, then you want to select inverse. That way you're selecting just him and not the background or her, whoever you selected. And I'm going to do refine edge and just kind of make sure that you have as much of this person as you can. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to do some things. So I'm just increasing the radius here to see what all it's going to pick up. And I think this will be fine. So I'm just going to hit OK. And now I'm going to I have him selected. So I could go ahead and put him on his own layer. Control J. That way I have him on his own layer. And I'm going to go ahead and make a brand new image. And in this class I like to do a 8.5 by 11 just because it's a size of a sheet of paper and it's easier for me to print out. So I'm going to call this John Lennon. I'm going to do 8.5 by 11 inches, 300 resolution, and hit OK. Then we're going to fill the background with black. Okay, now I'm going to go grab my picture of John Lennon. I'm going to bring him over. And I'm going to stretch them out. Of course, you know, you maintain aspect ratio. And it's okay if his shoulders or something goes off the side of the page. That's not a big deal. Okay, now what I'm going to do is add a levels adjustment layer to this picture. What you want to do is you want to bring the black arrow over to the right until one side of his face or her face kind of turns completely black. You want it to blend in with the black background. So in my case, the right side did that. In your case, it may be the left side has more shadows, so it does it on the left side. But I'm going to leave it about like this because his face is now blending straight into this black background, which is perfect. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a guide over because I want to Put it right in the middle. Since this is eight and a half, four point two five would be in the middle. And now I'm going to grab this picture of John Lennon, and I'm going to use my arrow keys to arrow him over until he is in the middle. So lined up with this guide, I want it to go the guide to go pretty much straight down the center of his nose and his mouth, so that it's dividing his face in half. Okay. Now on the side of the face that is not black on the side, so I'm going to use this side. I'm going to get the rectangular marquee tool. I'm going to make a blank layer. And I can just put it above this. And I'm going to select that side of his face. Okay, and on this layer too, this blank layer, I'm going to fill it with black. Okay, from here we're going to start typing the words, but we also want to kind of figure out the shape of his head. So on this layer 2 that I filled half with black, I'm just going to change the opacity down so that I can see the side of his head. I just changed it to about 50%. So I can tell that I want the words to line up with this. You want it to kind of line up with the outline. Oops, I didn't mean to fill that in again. So I'm going to grab my text tool. And I'm going to start drawing a box to put my text in. And I'm going to start at the very top of his head, in the center. And I'm going to go all the way to the left until it's 
pretty much to the left side of his head and then go down. So this is where I want my text to be. I don't want it to go outside these lines because whatever's outside the lines is just black background. Okay, so I'm going to, since I have my square on the left hand side of the page, I want my text to be right aligned. I want it right aligned with the center of the page. And then I'm going to start typing. I'm actually going to choose a white text. You, whoops, I typed a while before I knew that it was black. I'm going to do it in all caps. You may say I'm a, whoops. But I'm not the only one. Okay. Now I'm going to figure out kind of what font that I want. Now if yours started out when you started typing, if it did, and this has been the problem lately, if it looked like this, that's fine. All you have to do is adjust the setting. It's the letting. So let me figure out what font I want. It's only going to work well if you have a thick font because that way you'll be able to see the picture through it. So, um, I think I'll stick with Gil Sands Ultra. Okay, and it looks to me like that's going to be a little too big, so I'm just going to decrease the size. I'm going to increase the height here because I want them, I want the letters to pretty much touch. Individual line. I want the word may. I may or say. I want may to actually go out just a little bit. Say to go out a little bit so I can maybe make the letters fatter. I can even make them bigger if I want to. Spread them out. I want it to go out to the side of his head. Great. Same thing here. Now I want Dreamer all to be on one line. So I'm going to decrease the size of Dreamer or the width of the text so that I can try to fit it all on one line. And I might want it taller. Okay, after you get the text roughly in the shape of the outline of um, your person's head, like I've done, what you're going to do is now you're going to select the text. And the way to select the text is easy. You just hold down Control, and then you click on the T here, and that's going to select everything on that layer, so it selected all of the text. Now I'm going to go to Layer 2, which is our black layer that's covering half of the face. Right now it's on 59% opacity. But when we turn it all the way up, we'll be able to see more. So we're going to go to layer two, and we're just going to add a mask. So what it's going to do is it basically takes away this black layer and only shows the white layer. 
but we want to do the opposite. So we're going to control I, okay, and we'll increase the opacity all the way to this layer. So it should look like this, right? The reason it looks like this, and you still see the letters, is because we still have our text layer showing. So if we take that text layer off, what you should have left is just um, the cutout, basically, of the letters on top of this black background. Now, in a lot of cases, you're not going to be able to read this. And the reason is it's really dark underneath this. So I'm going to show you a trick. If you go to layer 1, which is the layer that you have your person, if you get this dodge tool and first change it to midtones, I'm going to change my exposure to about 40-something percent. I'm going to increase my brush. These areas that are really dark, you don't want to make them white because that defeats the purpose. But if you kind of go over those areas, it makes them a little bit lighter. If you still can't see it well, you can change midtones to shadows and kind of do it again. But again, don't do it too much. You should be able to see your picture. Take my guide away. And this is the finished product.